Okay, in this class we will discuss about the steepest uh, descent algorithm. So in the previous class we have discussed the general structure of adaptive filters and that we have input sequence. So given to a linear adaptive filter which has time varying filter coefficients. So this filter generates a output or response due to this input sequence and then we have a desired response also dn and based on this error between the desired response and the output of this filter which is given to some adaptive algorithm to update the filter weights in this adaptive filter okay this is what is general structure of any adaptive filter. So the objective of this adaptive algorithm is to update the filter weights so that at each iteration your mean square error is minimized. Okay. So in the vinyl filter we do it at once. We just find the solution of the <coughs> we find the gradient. In fact, we have seen that okay, we compute En which is equal to Dn minus yn so it can be written as summation of uh, this can be written as dn minus yn is summation of wk star u of n minus k okay, the convolution and uh, you can write it as a inner product of w h n with u n Okay. Now see, in, when we have used these terminologies in the binary filters, we have simply used okay that the output of this is W into H. Or sorry, not it is U here. W H into U N. Because in that case, your W, which is the output of this filter. It is not basically depending on the time. Okay. Now, since the output of this filter will change at each value of n, so this vector w, which is the vector of the filter weights, it is also time dependent. And un is also the, it is of course, it is already time varying because it is the input signal. So, w over here is now. What is my Wn? It is a vector of filter weights or time varying filter weights, you can say W0 and W1 and up to M minus 1n. Column it. Okay. And take its submission transpose, you get a row vector, of course. Okay. And similarly, U of n is a column vector of the input samples u of n minus 1 up to u of n minus m plus 1 okay so initially we have written this w as initially we write w vector as this w0 w1 up to w m minus 1 transpose it's column vector of filter types but now here we have column vector of filter tapes which are time varying. So n is the indexing. Okay. And now, <clears throat> so you have a filter with time varying filter coefficients. If you implement it, you can write like this un. Because this equation of convolution yn, which is mission of wk star into u of n minus k so it is w 0 star into u of n plus w1 conjugate into u of n minus 1 and so on okay so u of n is multiplied with a vector w0 okay and since now it is 
dependent upon time here, you will have W0 of n, then W1 of n and so on. Okay. Then you have a delay element, another multiplier, W1 of n star, another multiplied W2 of n star and so on. Last multiplier is your W m minus 1 n star. Okay. So this, the output of all these multipliers it, add it together, you get y m. This is adaptive filter and then this yn is subtracted from dn which is desired response that must be available to you and then this dn is given to a adaptive algorithm and this dn will basically modify these filter weights so this output of this algorithm is you have different mechanisms for this weight operation and so on okay so this modifies these weights basically so in general we assume that okay these are complex it's right so at now any point of time again like in the vinyl filter at any point of time we find that mean square so jn will be equal to expectation of n square okay and this we have already expanded in the previous classes you can write it as n into n star then in place of n you can write it as dn minus yn or it can be written as summation of wk of n into u of n minus k okay and then en multiplied with n star so this is en if you take its en conjugate it will become dn star minus summation over wkn into u of n minus k star so en multiplied with en then you multiply the two terms okay so you get finally gn in the form of and then you take this expectation so dn into dn star it becomes e of mod n star uh, square x this is variance basically so it becomes sigma d square okay similarly you get next terms so this will be already done in vanna filter minus p of h w n minus w h r w n w n also here okay <coughs> this is the mean square error so this mean square error is a function of time okay so it is equal to sigma d square is the variance of this Assuming it is zero mean process, sigma d square becomes the variance of this desired response. Then WHN, it is the Hermitian transpose of your filter type vector with time varying filter options. UN is your input sequence. P is the, again the cross correlation between DN and UN. And this R is the autocorrelation matrix for the input sequence UN. Okay. Now what we do in the uh, steepest uh, descent algorithm, see you have Gn, again this Gn in general, the mean square error is a function of filter weights, okay. So in the previous case, what we have done, the one filter, we have seen that, okay, Gn is the mean square error, which is a function, second order function of the filter weights. So we have find a gradient vector, del Gn, which is del upon del a zero j plus j del upon del b zero j okay and so on the differentiation with respect to 
a1 and a1 a2 b2 so this gradient vector was equated to zero okay and this gradient vector in fact was nothing but it was minus 2p minus 2rw okay so how this minor field is different from this steepest descent look in that in that case with j we have not used in the diamond x okay so we just taken some weights w0 w1 w2 which are not basically dependent upon time and we have find this j which is the mean scalar error and then we have equated its find its gradient factor and equated that to zero we got one of equations okay now the approach is similar here we find the j, the mean square error, which is now time varying, which is a function of n. Okay, because these weights are a function of time. So they are controlled by some adaptive algorithm depending upon this error here. Okay, now the purpose is again to minimize this mean square error. It means after many iterations, you should reach the optimum point or the minimum point. Okay. So how we do that? <coughs> suppose if you take example, let us suppose we have only one filter. Wait, it means I have a filter, an adaptive filter with only one filter coefficients W0. Okay. So you apply some input, you have some desired response, find some errors, apply this this to this adaptive algorithm and change this weight. So what you see, you see that your J, which is a function of N, of course. If you plot it as a function of W, second order dependence, it is a single curve like this. So this is a quadratic function, you will get a function like this. So you, if you find the gradient of this and equate with this zero, you get one that filters solution this W optimum. But now same solution if you want to find using the one in using this steepest descent algorithm, what do we do now? We Raise to this solution in an adaptive or in a iterative manner. So we now this is the axis. So the solution may lie at any point on this axis since it is a single coefficient. Okay. So you can start from here. You can start from here. So since since we don't know where the solution will lie, so we start from any initial guess. Okay. So let us suppose that we start from here that this is the initial weight assigned to this coefficient w0 okay it means so at next time i should move in this direction because i have to reach here so at next iterations my error should be this much it should be minimized at next iteration the error should be this much it means i have to move in the direction which is the negative of the gradient okay so if the point is here if i find this gradient it is positive. So I have to move in the negative direction. If I my initial guess is here, and I find its gradient, it is negative. It means my solution is here, I have to move in the positive direction. Okay. So what we do basically in the minor filter now, and sorry, the this lack of steepest descent algorithm. So we set these filter weights w0, w1, w2 up to, a, to any vector, in fact a null vector, the initial stage, and then we find the error and we feed back this error to this algorithm in such a way so that when you update the next weights at n plus 1, so at w1 it has some filter weights, now what should be the weights of the filter coefficients or the filter weights at n plus 1? So you have to add some correction to this W1, which is the initial vector. This is vector. This is also vector. This is the vector of filter weights at time n plus 1. This is the vector of filter weights at time n. So when you move from n to n plus 1, this filter weights has to be modified so that your error is minimized. It means you have to move in the direction of negative gradient. So I have to find a gradient of this function at that time n with respect to the filter weights that you have and then I have to make a correction to this existing 
factor. So I will add here plus 1.2 into mu n2 minus delta n. So delta n is the gradient. Okay. So minus because we are going in the negative direction. So if it is positive, it will go in the if it is positive here, gradient is positive, it will go here. If the gradient is negative, it will go here in this direction. Okay. And 1 by 2 is just a factor that you use to cancel this two factor here, that nothing else. Okay. And this mu will basically now control this step. Okay. That how slowly or how fast you are going from this point to this this point. Or from this point to this point. Mu is very small. You will go in very small steps. It will take large time to reach to this solution. So if mu is high, you may reach to this solution in only few iterations. But there is a particular <coughs> way to choose this, or what should be the choice for selecting step size, which is called as mu, so that your algorithm must be stable. Okay. So this is the basic formulation for method of steepest descent. So a mean scale error function del j n, this function which is now basically a function of it is a function of filter rates of course, but it is also time dependent now. Okay. So at any time n, we find the gradient of this so del j n, which is the gradient of function with respect to the filter rates at that time. Okay. And this gradient is nothing but minus 2 k minus 2 r. W. Okay. Essentially, when it was one, it filtered as minus two p minus two or w naught, and from that we got the minus solution. But in this case, now to in order to reach to this w naught, we have to use many iterations. Okay. So you find a gradient, and then you add this gradient to the initial t vector. We make a new estimate of this rates. So it means you can write it as now Wn plus 1, the filter rates at time n will be updated plus in place of del j n I can use this equation minus 2p minus 2w. So minus and this minus, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled, it will become plus mu into p minus r wn. And this is wn here basically. This is the mathematical formulation for method of steepest descent. Okay. So let me <coughs> conclude it or revise it. <coughs> so you have a filter which has time varying filter coefficients w0 and w1 and w2 and so on. You are applying some input even to this filter. It generates a sequence yn and then you have a desired response tn. So you estimate error which is given to this adaptive algorithm to update the filter coefficients. Okay, and this adaptive algorithm here that we are discussing is the method of steepest descent or steepest descent algorithm. Okay, so what we have done is that at any point of time you calculate this error. Or mean scalar J n. Okay. So suppose initially I have no idea that okay, where the minimum scalar will lie or where what will be the value of the minimum mean scalar. So suppose I have a vector here, let us suppose there are m filter options, it means you have a vector here w n, which is basically W0 of n, W1 of n, Wm minus 1 of n. Okay. So this is a vector of m filter coefficients. So if it is starting at the initial stage, so we have W0. Okay. The tape vector at time n is equal to 0. When you initialize this filter. So we don't know where this is going to converge. So we suppose that all this means we have W0 of 0, W1 of 0. So Wm minus 1, these are filter vectors at time n is equal to 0. 
So if you don't have any ID, you can set all these vectors to zeros, these weights to zeros. So this is simple. So all the filter coefficients are zero. Okay. And then what we have said that okay, that at any particular time n, what we are doing now, we are finding the gradient of this function, the cost function with respect to the filter weights. So a gradient vector that is del by del a zero of j plus del by del b zero j. Similarly, del upon del a one j plus j del by del b1 j and so on. Okay. So partial derivatives with respect to all the real and imaginary parts of the filter coefficients. So once you have this gradient, the new vector that you will set wn plus 1 at time and that is nothing but wn plus we have seen 1 by 2 mu into minus delta jn and for this case we have seen that it is 22 gets cancelled you get mu of p minus r w so this is the method of steepest descent or steepest descent rule okay so there are four steps so you start from so you initially set this wn vector to any value then in the next step we compute the gradient vector that is delta Gn with respect to the filter weights at time n. And this gradient vector is used to update the vector of filter coefficients at time n plus 1. So at time n plus 1, you have a new vector of filter weights which will be the previous filter coefficients plus mu into p minus r w n and then we repeat then we can compute the gradient of this mean square now with respect to this new vector okay and now that vector is added to its that gradient basically added to this vector to get the new vector at time n plus 2 okay so it means if you started from time n is equal to 0 so a vector of filter coefficients w0 okay so at that time you find some error and you find a gradient of or the slope gradient vector of this function j with respect to those filter coefficients so that gradient is added to the w0 to get w1 that is vector of filter coefficients at n is equal to one time so again at n is equal to one you find the gradient of that mean square error with respect to these filter coefficients, depending upon positive or negative, it is again added to W1. To make a correction to it, you reach to W2, the filter weights at n is equal to and so on. So you go on doing you go on updating this till you get the minimum mean square error or the minimum point, the bottom point. So when it finds the minimum point, you get you go to the one different solution. Okay, this is what is steepest descent algorithm. Okay, so this selection of this mu is very critical or important. Okay, because this decides that how how much time it will take to converge this adaptive filter solution to the minor filter solution. It also defines your convergence rate. Okay. Next, we will discuss about this uh, stability of this status descent algorithm. And for that, you will see that this mu must be between certain limits for this algorithm to be stable. Okay. So, what basically it does now, now you have a bowel type shape, so face. So you start from any point in the surface on the surface, okay, and this will this algorithm will track it and it will finally reach at this one filter solution. Okay. So in two dimensional we call them as the contour plots. 
okay so for two filter weights you have plot like this so start from any point it will go through this path it means this point will move on the surface so finally we'll reach at a point which is the one that will do solution the minimum means okay and sometimes it means if there is algorithm is not stable unstable so this point will fluctuate basically it will go here and here and here and there maybe okay so you have to assure that okay this algorithm must be stable so for that there is a proper way how should you select this step size so that your algorithm converges to the optimum point